Finally, I'm allowed in to see the plaster casts of the Homo erectus skulls from the lower cave. And Professor Wu has a surprise waiting. Oh. Well, you see, uh, this is the original specimen. That's the original? Yes, yeah, original. As you know, uh, most of the original specimens lost during the war. I didn't know uh, any, of it, uh, any of it had survived. Yeah, after the war, we, we have done some new excavation. Right. And, uh, got some new specimens. Can, yes, I, can, I, can I hold them. it? Yes, yes. I honestly thought all the specimens had been lost, but this mm. is this is an actual fossil of Homo erectus yes. in China. It was found in 1966. So this is hundreds of thousands of years mm. old, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So this is another piece. It's just amazing for me to I mean, to be holding in my hand this actual fossil, which is hundreds mm. of thousands of years old, I honestly thought all I would see mm. is casts, is reconstructions. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is the actual fossil. And now fossil. You, you hold the original one. That's <laughs> amazing. But even more important is what Professor Wu has spotted in these fossils. First, he shows me some features of the ancient erectus skulls, that he believes are typically Chinese. The face is flat. The, the nose is flat, not very protrude, as in Europe. Yeah, yeah. And, and, uh, and this part is also flat. So this part of the cheekbones is yeah. sort of very tasty. For example, in like Then he shows me the much more recent upper cave skulls and picks out the same distinctively Chinese features. But it also have the more flat face and the not very protruding nose. So the features that you're looking at in these skulls are really the features which characterise modern mm. Chinese people today mm. Mm. and yes. the sort of differences between your skull and my yes, skull. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, so so you, your face here is yeah. like this and mine. And yours is like, flatter, yes. yeah. yeah. And your nose is flatter so here we, than mine. We inherited uh, some features from our ancestor. Professor Wu sees a clear line, Homo erectus evolving into upper caveman, becoming today's Chinese. For him, these fossils prove that the Chinese come from a completely different branch of the human family. But I can see significant differences between the skulls. The whole skull shape of Homo erectus is quite different from modern humans. And even those features that Wu pointed out, the nose and the cheekbones, don't seem that similar to me. First of all, I mean, mm. you spent a lifetime mm. studying mm. these skulls, and I'm a complete mm. novice in comparison. Mm. But I look at this mm. modern skull here, mm. this 30,000 year old skull from mm. Charcot Dien, mm. and this looks quite similar to me mm. to other skulls from from Europe at the same time. So mm. I, d I don't think it, it doesn't look Chinese no, no, to no, me. No, but the, the profile in, in Europe is it's different. Quite subtle, though, isn't yeah. it? I'm still not convinced that the Chinese are so fundamentally different from the rest of us. Professor Wu is so knowledgeable and his arguments are so persuasive, so maybe I'm missing something.